Well, hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for an excellent uh, cross-country mountain bike and specifically this is gonna be the Kenyon Exceed CF5 hardtail mountain bike. So you see, it's uh, really refreshing in today's world of uh, very expensive road bikes and mountain bikes to see that you can buy this, in my opinion, excellent cross-country mountain bike for 2000 US dollars or, for example, if you are based in UK, 1800 uh, British pounds. You see also, I believe that cross-country mountain bikes are totally underrated. They have uh, such a huge uh, breadth of capabilities and also compared to the your classical you know gravel road bike i just believe that cross country mountain bikes are so much more advanced so let's first answer the question who is this uh, bike for so you see this uh, kenyon exceed cf5 is a classical example of a hard tail uh, cross country mountain bike so if you like uh, spending a lot of time on the road and off road you like to you know go to the forests take some steep mountains go fast fast uh, downhill then definitely this uh, cross country mountain bike is going to be an excellent you know weapon and a tool to use and specifically as i say since the retail price is 2000 us dollars or 1850 british pounds it's an absolute excellent uh, value for money when you look at the paint scheme on this bike if you are based in us you only have one paint scheme on offer it is this beautiful red with a hint of black a very classical combination red black and white looks beautiful but also what's interesting if you are in the european market you will also have this uh, beautiful metallic silver paint scheme uh, combined with a hint of black i wish that they have also offered this uh, paint scheme on the us market but uh, it is what it is you are a bit limited with the paint scheme on the us uh, market so now we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get uh, for your uh, hard-earned money. I mean, uh, as always with, uh, with uh, these bikes, uh, we can kick off uh, with the uh, frame and with the fork on this bike. So you see the frame is the carbon fiber uh, Kenyon Exceed CF carbon fiber frame. You are getting a six years warranty on this uh, carbon fiber frame. And this is of course not the top of the line creme de la creme carbon fiber frame that Kenyon can do. But of course, you got to put it into perspective of 2000 US dollars retail uh, price of course this uh, carbon fiber frame has a 15 millimeters true axle at the front a 12 millimeter true axle at the back and it's gonna be with the press uh, fit uh, bottom bracket everything fine here I absolutely have no complaints about this uh, carbon fiber frame on this uh, Kenyon Exceed bike next thing we're gonna have a look is the fork on this uh, bike so this is the RockShox Recon RL uh, fork in my opinion, excellent fork from uh, RockShox. And this one is, of course, 100 millimeters uh, of uh, travel with the fork. Uh, I will just mention here that uh, it, it is, of course, uh, um, air and the spring fork with the RockShox uh, Debon Air uh, tunable air spring. And also some of the highlights will definitely include that it comes with a 15 millimeters true axle uh, at the front, as I said, the Debon Air spring. And also the um, uh, legs of the fork are 32 millimeters. Maximum uh, disc braking rotor you can fit on this fork is 220 uh, millimeters. And uh, also I will just uh, mention here that with this fork, uh, the damper inside is a so-called RockShox motion control. And with uh, this fork, as far as I see, is going to be a remote lockout. And also you can, you can adjust the um, uh, rebound and uh, I'm guessing you can also adjust the compression. So excellent fork, in my opinion, RockShox Recon RL. Again, putting it into perspective that this whole bike is uh, 2000 US dollars. Now let's talk about the drivetrain, the group set uh, on the bike. What are you getting? So this bike uh, doesn't have a front derailleur, so it is uh, just a one by system, which means that the rear mech is the Shimano Dior 12 speed rear mech and also the shifters, uh, the shifter is the Shimano Dior uh, 12 speed shifter. This is the Shimano Dior M6100 group set, 12 speed mechanical group set. 
absolutely superb stuff in the mountain bike world and it is a proper workhorse uh, from Shimano. As I say, this is one by 12 group set. Also, you are getting a Shimano's Dior cassette, again, 12 speed cassette, 1051 is the range, which is a huge range in my opinion, and this is paired with the Shimano Dior crankset. So this crankset comes with the 32 uh, tooth uh, chainring, so you see 32 uh, at the front and 1051 at the back. You absolutely have a huge range of gears to attack uh, any steep mountain or any off-road terrain. As I said, the bottom bracket on this uh, frame is going to be the press fit bottom bracket from Shimano. Their standard BB71 bottom bracket. I'm definitely not expecting any creaking noises because, again, carbon fiber frames from Canyon are very good, so definitely no creaking noises here. And also, they didn't cut corners by using the Shimano chain. This is the Shimano CN chain M6100, again, Shimano Dior chain. 12 speed chain. So looking at the whole group set of Shimano Dior and uh, Shimano Dior chain and the cassette, absolutely I'm satisfied that there is absolutely no cutting corners here with the group set. A proper mechanical 12 speed group set, a proper workhorse from Shimano. Now let's look at the braking system on the bike. So what are you getting? You will get the, in my opinion, superb Shimano SLX hydraulic disc brakes. So these are the Shimano M7100 brakes, front and uh, front and rear, and they come with the braking rotors, which are 160 millimeters at the front, and also um, sorry, 180 millimeters at the front, and 160 millimeters at the back. The only little uh, kind of cutting corners here I would mention is that uh, Kenyon is using Hayes braking rotors. Uh, listen, they are nowhere, no, nowhere close to the proper Shimano uh, SLX or XT braking rotors. So definitely in the future, I would advise you when you destroy these Hayes braking rotors, uh, buy yourself a Shimano SLX or Shimano XT braking rotors, because you will see that the braking performance is going to be so much uh, more better. Now, let's talk about the wheel set on the bike. So what do you get with this bike? This is a, a DT Swiss LNXC wheel set. You know I'm a huge fan of DT Swiss wheels. They truly make um, astonishing and really good quality wheel set. Uh, the only interesting thing here with this DT Swiss LN wheel set is that uh, officially you can't buy this wheel set directly uh, from DT Swiss. So I'm guessing this is some kind of OEM production for certain bike brands. But definitely this wheel set is based on the DT Swiss X1900 spline wheel set, which is a basic uh, cross-country aluminium wheel wheel set uh, from uh, DT Swiss. And if we dive a little bit more into the specifications of this wheel set, you will see that the total weight of this wheel set is approximately 1,900 uh, grams. And also it is a classical, as I said, aluminum uh, wheel set for 29 uh, inch uh, wheels. And the inner rim width is 25 millimeters. And also it is based on the DT Swiss 370 hubs with 15 millimeters through axle at the front wheel and 12 millimeters through axle at the back wheel. I will also mention here that it comes with DT Swiss Champion uh, spokes, absolutely superb stuff. And uh, this is wheel set ready for the six uh, bolt. Uh, discs and also you can turn it into a tubeless wheel set of course you will need to provide your own tubeless tape and the tubeless valve all in as i say in my opinion superb classical aluminium wheel set from dt swiss is definitely going to serve you very well now when you look at the tires uh, again superb choice in my opinion uh, classical schwalbe rocketron 2.25 inch tires excellent tires and definitely when you destroy them you can keep again buy a new uh, set of Schwalbe tires or maybe use something from let's say Continental tires. Some of the smaller pieces on the bike like handlebar and the stem. Uh, both of them come from a race face. These are aluminium pieces both handlebar and the stem. Nothing is proprietary here. It's very simple to adjust your position, very simple to replace if you need to upgrade anything in the future. So I'm really glad that there's no proprietary pieces here. It is an aluminium piece, but again, on a cross-country mountain bike, you don't need any carbon fiber pieces of handlebar and the stem. And I will just mention here that this handlebar is a nice width of 740 millimeters. When it comes to the seat post and the saddle, what do you get? You will get the Sele Italia Model X saddle. Uh, in my opinion and experience, Sele Italia makes some excellent uh, saddles for the bikes. If you don't like it, it's very easy to replace. Saddles are always a personal preference. 
when it comes to the seat post again race face uh, item this is an aluminium item uh, 30.9 millimeters in diameter so definitely here something for the future if you want a bit more smoother bike ride then it definitely makes sense to buy yourself uh, any type of uh, carbon fiber seat post in this you know 30.9 millimeters uh, diameter so this is just a little tip uh, for the future so all in uh, this bike uh, comes at approximately 11.8 kilograms but i'm guessing this is for some kind of size medium so just let's say adjust if you need a size large easily you know 12 kilograms bike but again i believe this is an excellent choice of a cross-country mountain bike and generally a bicycle that you can ride you know every day on road off road because the retail price as i say 1850 british pounds or 2000 us dollars it is just excellent retail price in my opinion and the value for money so definitely if you are in the market for any kind of bicycle specifically cross-country mountain bike i can definitely say go ahead and just uh, buy this uh, Kenyon Exceed CF5 bike. So this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!